Hi there, Dalton here with ABC Acres. Today we're going to be talking about our famous bananas grown right here in the Banana Belt of Montana, the Bitterroot Valley. We'll cover the life cycle from pup to fruit, as well as fertilizing and other ways that we keep things warm here in the greenhouse. Here within our banana patch, we have many different individual plants. These all originated from one single pup. And pup is just a name for a baby banana plant. In Hawaii, they're also called keiki, which is the Hawaiian word for baby or child. A good general rule with growing bananas is keeping them in generations of three. That always keeps a mature, an adolescent, and a baby pup growing all at the same time. Within the life cycle of a banana, they start off as a little baby pup. It usually comes from the root stock of the patch. Second generation is a little bit bigger, tends to be between four to six feet tall. This is the point where they start putting on a little bit of width in the trunk. And third generation tends to be the fully mature adult ready to flower. We use different fermented plant juice fertilizers throughout the year, depending on what is available on the farm. When the flower is finished and the hands are ready to put on some weight, we will remove the end flower to allow more energy to go to the rack. The bed they are in is a three by six by two concrete form. Another interesting thing about bananas is that they are an herb. So once they're done flowering, their life cycle is over. We cut them down to a stump and use the remaining stems as fertilizer, animal feed, and you can even eat the stem, center core stem of the banana. Our banana patch is on the west wall, so that allows sun all day, and it will be the last thing the sun hits at the end of the day as well. And even the understory of the banana patch itself is a mini ecosystem with its own microclimate, allowing for a lot of understory plants to thrive, as well as frogs, toads, and salamanders in our greenhouse here. Here we have our golden tree frog, as well as our long toed salamander, and our friend Mr. Toad. He gets a snack every once in a while. And for people with limited space, we recommend the Little Prince banana. Juvenile Cavendish bananas have this blood pattern to them, but as they mature, they lose that pattern and it turns to a complete pea green leaf. The leaves are useful too. They're a great biodegradable plate or bowl, and the leaves are used to steam meats and vegetables all over the world. And bananas are heavy drinkers, so make sure they get plenty of water. With enough light, space, and fertilizer, you can get bananas to fruit as well. Here's our record three flowers at the same time. I hope this video inspires people to try and grow bananas more north, whether it's in your greenhouse or even if you have a south facing window in your living room, it's worth a try. Please like and subscribe for more greenhouse content and more videos on the farm coming soon. Thanks.